Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler, where of course every day is a train show and today we got some brand new items just like we always do that we're going to be showing you. We're going to start off with Atlas. We have some brand new really neat looking street lights here. We're going to take this in for a closer inspection here. These are the brand new HO Trackside lightings. We have the single arm street light set and we have the double arm street light set as well. And believe it or not, I also had these available in N scale as well. So a lot of times we really focus on our railroading, you know, trying to get our, our track figured out, our ballast, but the scenery aspect might get neglected. So add some street lights to your uh, layout. I think that would really add a lot of detail. We also have these other lighting systems here. If I could get this spread out for you, check this out here. So I have here the HO Trackside lighting i have here the double arm square black lights i have the shorter version of the double arm ones and then i have these wall mounted square lights and again these are really neat little uh things that i can add to my railroad to give me a little bit more detailing and i had these available in n scale as well so if you're an n scale fan and you would like to get some street lighting happening on your railroad come check these out from atlas now i'm not going to bore you with a whole bunch of prices if you just go on our website yankeedabbler.com type in atlas street lights you'll see what you're looking for here get the price and hopefully get your light uh your layout illuminated i think it would be a very illuminating experience getting lights on your railroad today and if you don't think you have enough lighting on your railroad, we'll check these out once again from Atlas here. I have some new single systems here, and these are really cool looking ones. If you see here, I have the right version and the left version here as well. These are really neat looking lights that you can have on your railroad. And of course, I also have the double version as well. So these are really neat looking single systems. Atlas has done a great job with the lighting systems in the last couple of months and I really enjoy these on our layout. They really make it look very detailed and very intricate. Engineer Hall, I know you love these things, right? Oh, I do. That's why I got couple of those sitting already at the house ready All to go all right so i can't wait to see those on the e and h railroad and if you want to be like the e and h railroad come to yankee dabbler once again type these on our website what you're looking for get the prices and get these things rolling at your railroad today so we're trying to get the kids involved with model railroading so we at yankee dabbler actually reached out to the local elementary school and asked a couple questions to local uh, students on what they thought about trains so we asked little timmy in first grade what his favorite train car was and he said I have to go potty. So, um, it could happen. I, 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 just, yeah. Oh, well. Anyway, we got some new boxers that we have to take a look at here. And once again, they're from Atlas. I think you're really going to like these Trayman boxers. Let's check these guys out, shall we? All right. So, I have here the ACF 50 foot and six inch you know every inch counts right engineer hall that's right yeah the box cars from Atlas and I have the Canadian National I have the CSX I have here the Union Pacific the BKTY I have here the Burlington Northern and the NJM now these are very economical box cars that you can have on your railroad and I have multiple different road numbers for these cars so if I want to get a nice long unit train of Canadian National box cars at a very affordable price I can do that and the neat thing about these cars is even though they are rather affordable I have metal wheels so I always love me some metal wheels on my railroad now the retail value of these box cars is thirty dollars and ninety five cents but we're selling it here at yankee dabbler for twenty one dollars and ninety nine cents so anytime i could get an atlas car for a very affordable price a nice quality car i mean i have nice writing on these cars here they look great everyone needs box cars on your railroad so i come recommend get these atlas acf 50 foot six inch box cars mm -hmm. rolling on your railroad today so we have another question from a student here. We asked little Jimmy in preschool what his favorite diesel locomotive was. And Jimmy said, I could be a fire truck. Ooh, then spun around and collapsed. So um, didn't really get an answer. But hey, you know, he, he gave me a little show there. Anyway, speaking of shows here, I know a lot of people actually like to measure how fast their locomotives go on their layout. And a really good way to do that is the AccuTrack 2 speedometer here. And what is really neat about these is I got a whole bunch of them in stock. Let's check a look, uh, take a look over here. Now, Engineer Hall, you've actually demonstrated this on the e &H Railroad before, correct? Yeah, that is correct. Very nice. And then the idea behind this is you put this on your track, you put the trains over it, and it tells you how many scale miles it is going. So a lot of people like to know how fast their trains are going. Well, that's a great way to measure it. And now, also, like the speed match the locomotives, too. Oh, there you go. Now, one of the things that is interesting about this particular item, which is very popular, is the manufacturing actually has decided to stop making the product they have discontinued them 
So we have a whole, uh, we got a brand new shipment of these speedometers here, but once we sell out of them, they're done. You're not going to be able to get them anymore. So if you really were thinking about getting one of these things, or if you think that's something you would really want, I would act fast because once we sell out of these speedometers, they are gone. So make sure that you please get these, um, you know, finding out how fast your trains are rolling on your layout. Now the Accutrex speedometer retails for $87.95, but we're selling here at Yankee Dabbler for $69.95. So again, don't wait on that. If you were looking to get one of those things on your railroad, Get it now before you're going to regret it later on. All right, so once again, we went to that local elementary school. And we asked the student, uh, Rebecca, in second grade, what she thought the difference between steam engines and diesels were. And she said, Ah, strange man, help, help, help. So um, this really didn't go well, but, you know, we, we were trying to involve kids. So, um, uh. yeah. Anyway. I know some of us in O scale might be looking for a new car uh, to put on your railroad that has some animation to it. And especially if you're interested or getting ready for the Memorial Day or 4th of July time period, I have a really neat boxcar for us to check out. This is the 1776 Land of the Free Home of the Brave boxcar from Line Now. And it is a really striking looking car here. I love the red, white, and blue and the gold accents on the trucks and the roof. This is a really cool car. But the neat thing about this car is if we zoom in on the flag, I'm gonna turn the power on and check that out. You see the stars illuminate and they go around and actually Engineer Hall, if you go on the other side, you might get it a little bit better because it's a little bit darker there on this side. Can you see it there? Yep. That is a really neat looking car there. And especially if you turn off the lights on your railroad and you have your train going around, I think that is just a really neat, little neat addition to add to your railroad. Especially if you're a Lionel fan, like to have some animation. I think the more things your trains do, the better. Now this car retails for $119.99, but we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $108.99. It's a really cool car to get, especially if you want to honor the greatest country in the world. That's right, the good old US of A. Come get this box car on the back of your railroad. Railroad, and God bless America. All right, well, despite my best intentions, we kept asking questions to kids. We had little Joseph in fifth grade, and we said, what do you like to do with your caboose? You know, and, you know we all have cabooses at the end of our trains. And he said, I like to pinch them. Hmm. Huh. Pinching? Yeah, okay. Anyway, well, I know some of us might be looking for a brand new diesel locomotive like Engineer Hall. He's always in the hunt for a new engine. And we have these Athern ready to roll diesel locomotives. So we're going to check these out. These are these SD39 Guilford diesel engines. Check these guys out, shall we? I have two versions of these Guilford SD39s. And I have the traditional black and white diesel engine. And then I have a really neat Prime to Grime engine here that I took out. And the, one, the reason I really like this one is if you take a look at the logo here, you could clearly say you used to say, Norfolk and Western and it was repainted over that with the Guilford logo. Now these do have economy decoders inside of them but because they have that they are very very affordable diesel locomotives to have on your railroad. Now the retail value of these engines is $259.99 but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $207.99 so anytime once again we can get an engine for around $200 I think we got some really good things happening. So you know like we like to do on the show is we like to just play with trains. We're going to see what these diesel engines sound like in action. All aboard. I had that prime to grind uh, engine on the rail so let's start her up. Let's take a listen to this bell. Oh, I like that bell. That is different. Here's the horn. Oh, even though it's economic, it sounds pretty good. All aboard. Engineer Hall, should we get some boxcars? All right, bring it back three to the couple. Two to go. One more. Half. Truck. 
far enough. Give him a stretch. Oh, boys. Now arriving on track one. Box cars for me, box cars for you. I have some box cars, you have one too. So that was a really cool diesel locomotive to have on your rails. And if you're a fan of those SD39s, I think you definitely need both of those engines pulling on your rails today. And we actually, we took a look at a previous show of some other SD39s that we have from the Ready Your Roll series. So make sure you check those out in a previous video. So maybe if you're not into Guilford, but you're looking for a different road name, check out one of those engines on our website, yankeedobler.com. So I made a comment about that uh, SD39 bell, and I really liked it because it sounded different. Well, guess what? Our resident know-it-all, Ken, knows the exact reason of why that engine sounds like that so ken can you tell the people in the internet land why that bell sounds that way so the norfolk and western got all of its sd39s when it bought illinois terminal which was a traction railroad a traction company has a bell or this specific traction company had bells that sounded like grade crossing bells or inner urban bells which is why the bell sounds the way it does that's cool can you explain to me how come every time I walk, I sound like my knees are cracking? Because you're old. Oh, all right. Thanks. Don't fist bump that. Anyway, I think you need that engine now. They, even though you know a little bit more history now, you really need it on your rails. Let's do a little recap of the items that we took a look in today's show here. From Atlas, we had the signals that are the, uh, we had the double crossing ones over here. And of course, we had the rights and left over there. We have here from Lionel, we have this awesome looking box card that actually lit up. I really enjoyed looking at that one there. I have from Atlas again, I had these box cars here, these six, uh, 50 foot, six inch box cars. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I had again from Atlas. I had these awesome looking street light sets and I do have them in end scale as well. From Ather and I had these ready to roll uh, SD39s and then of course I had the AccuTrack 2 speedometer that is being discontinued. So once again if you want to get this for your railroad get it now while supplies last. And of course, just like always, if you're looking for something else that we didn't showcase on our show, well, if you go on our website, yankeedabbler.com, you can see all the awesome items that we have in our store. We got thousands of items here that hopefully will find their way on your railroad. Literally. I know, right? So please help us out. Let's get this stuff out of our store and onto your land so you can have some fun. If you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, make sure you click that subscribe button to get caught up on all the latest and greatest videos that we have coming up. Uh, actually, we have something pretty interesting. Engineer Hall told me that he's going to create a uh, train that serves ice cream. So there's got to be like a whipped cream car, a chocolate uh, dip car. I mean, how are you going to do all that? Oh, it's going to be spectacular. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see what that is. It sounds very fattening. Anyway, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. I want to thank you very much for tuning into our show. And we got one more question that we asked our school. And I'm very interested to see what the answer is for this one. And our final question that I asked our school-age children was, I was a little boy named Christian in second grade. I asked him what his favorite type of train was. And he said, Donuts. Um, what, what, what school did this person come from? Where did you go? I, I went to the school down the street. It was the, um, the Abbey Normal School. A Wait a minute, Abbey Normal School? Yeah, Ab Abnormal School, maybe. Oh, no. Did you go to, oh, no, no, you didn't. You didn't go there. Christian, that sounds familiar. I don't know, why do I know that name, Christian? I'm hoping to make it to the third grade this year. Oh, boy. What did you do? Okay, well, that was a big swing and a miss. Well, thanks for very much for watching our show. We're going to conclude with our rail fan video. We are going to take a look at some Amtrak trains going again through that northeast corridor down to Holmes Road, Pennsylvania. So until next time, thank you very much for tuning in. And i got to go make sure that he doesn't get into any mischief. No, nope, no, nope, nope, don't drink the paint. Remember, that's not good.